Well, hello, hobbits. How are you today? I am Joe Medium here, a uh, YouTube community member, hopefully now. Uh, done a video. Shit. Okay. Sorry about that. I think I get offended. But. Smoking a church warden. I got for Christmas, hence the Gandalf accent. Uh, loaded this baby with some Toasted Black Cavendish by uh, my Drew Estate. Really good stuff. It actually burns so nice, you know, you can tell. I don't know where she got it. Pretty sure she got it pipes and cigars. Uh, nice long stem. I don't think I told you guys about my arm defect, but I have arm defect for it's kind of hard if I have a really small pipe. It's a struggle to light it. So, in any case, so how was your Christmas? Mine was absolutely wonderful. <clears throat> Being that I had to work a lot of it, had a death of my wife's family. Um, Her grandma of 85 years, something like that, 85, 86 years old, uh, died uh, died Thursday before Christmas. Kind of fucked everything out, you know, emotionally and whatnot. But you know, hey, had to be there for the family, be there for the wife, for the kids. Um, but past all that, we're gonna be going to San Francisco for a more of a celebration of life dinner, breakfast, lunch, type of deal. I'm not too sure exactly, but out in uh, San Francisco. It should be pretty nice. Uh, get to see all the extended family of mine. Uh, basically, they all adopt me as, as their own. Uh, I've seen the father-in-law and everybody. I haven't seen anybody in a while just because I work like Endless, endless amount of days. But it's a pretty day, day. Pretty day, day. I think it's about 40 degrees in a t shirt. Um, my wife and kids are gone. They went to the snow, of all things, today. Had a hiking trip planned with some group, so I thought I'd come out and do a video. Oh, sorry about that. Hell of a drama, this bitch. <coughs> okay. um, thanks to anybody who's seen my video. If you haven't. I understand. Times are, times are difficult. There's a shit ton of videos out there right now, especially people getting the uh, Christmas yabos and all that stuff. I saw some really cool things. So hopefully, I get in on it next year because whoever's, whoever, if I get involved, or if they allow me to get involved, however it goes, uh, it's going to get a shit ton of stuff. Well, not that much stuff, like 8 million pounds worth, but definitely going to get some really cool stuff uh, that we have here locally. And uh, hopefully you'll enjoy it next year. Next year, not this year. Not New Year's job, but uh, too late. It's my new lighter. My wife got it for me. Of all people, doesn't really isn't really a fan on uh, smoking or anything like that. She got me this pipe. She got me. It's tamper with a little, it's got a little pick in it. I'm pretty sure you've all seen it on pipes and cigars. Um, but this lighter is pretty cool because along with pipes, I'm a cigar smoker. And you can't see it barely, but my face off. Really nasty teeth. Um, <clears throat> has a torch, so I'm able to able to um, Light my pipe, light a friend's cigar, and 
four of my cigars. I have about 30 or 40 left. Ever since I started smoking pipe, I just kind of forgot about them, you know? Oh well. That doesn't really matter. But, in any case, Just like Cavendish doesn't want to stay lit. I don't understand why. It's not too wet. Definitely not too dry. I try to keep it all at a decent temperature. Decent temperature. Maybe because it's cold outside. Who knows? I do most of my pipe smoking at work anyway. Um, I don't really do it at home. I think I told you guys already, so I don't really give a shit. But <clears throat> in any case, this is a beautiful commute to work. I mean, it's all the homeless guys and beer bottles getting thrown at me and dogs chasing me and uh, having to wait for the train sometimes or throw my bike over the train so I can get to work without getting in trouble. <clears throat> Tend to. Damn it. God damn it. Tend to have some easier times getting to work, but. So I was just um, thought I'd come out here and do this. I like this little bowl. Oh, sorry, I switched subject right, right away. I like this little bowl. It's actually just enough where I don't have to smoke too, too much. Because you know, I got a new pipe. I, I won't bring it out. It's a big old fucker, man. That thing is phenomenal. Uh, it's about that much larger, a little bit bigger diameter. It's got. A hell of a draw. I got that from my mom. I don't know why I do that. Um, <clears throat> I got that from my mother and my aunt. They gave me a, a what you call it. They gave me a couple gift cards to a local local BM, brick and mortar B and M here called Cigars Limited. A really good place if you're ever in Fresno. Go there. They know their shit about pipes, about tobacco. They have several kinds of house tobacco. It must be about at least forty jars worth of stuff. Uh, and they also have a pre-bagged, already pre-priced, so they had to bring it out, put it on the scale, like a measure of dope or something like that. Um, but they're really nice. They tried to get me to buy um, the Drew Estate pipe. I don't know if anybody's had those. That little one, it's like light as a feather. Really beautiful, but made in China, I think. China or Japan. I don't know, one of those places where they mass produce everything. It felt too dainty. And the guy was trying to convince with it. Three tins of tobacco and, and, and get this and get this pipe. And, you know, I'm more of rustic. I like this, the smooth, smooth finish on this because it's easier for me. I don't know, it was just easier for me to hold the light. But that one was a real dwarfy little pipe. It must have been about yay big. And you know, it had that nice little beautiful look, but it was just too dainty. So I decided against it and I saw this estate pipe of all things that was there refurbished by a guy from San Francisco, which um, I'm kind of prone to getting things that people more have a story on, and the pipe is roughly about, about 20 years old, and it said it was made in the early 90s, so I decided to get that, and it's beautiful, but man, you get a little bit sucker deep with tobacco, and it's got a nice big fat draw. <clears throat> it's got a uh, handmade stem to it, too, because the guy... I guess the stem was broken, so he had to rebuild an entire stem. Kind of looked like one that's on the, uh, like on a Joe Case pipe would be a saddle bit. Beautiful pipe, though. But, you know, I had a good holiday. I mean, I got a handful of books. One of my favorite movies out there, Out Cold. Uh, it's about those idiots out there in, in Alaska at a ski resort, trying to save a ski resort from getting closed down. Uh, pipe tools and cleaners and things that I need uh, that my wife, uh, she picked up, which was beautiful. Got a girl. Um, and also, actually, I have Another stocking stuffer should be in the mail, or should be coming today or tomorrow from UPS. My wife, bless her heart, was looking at all the sales on tobacco at pipesandcigars.com.
www.disability.com and she said, well, why the fuck didn't you get that? Yes, and she does talk like that. I said, well, you need to order that and we'll put that in your stocking. Well, I am the cheapest shipping possible, which is like five bucks or something like that. So, oh well, it'd still be cool. It'd be a New Year's present for me. I got a handful of arom a couple of aromatics. I'm not a huge aromatic fan, uh, but I, I got a handful of their, uh, of their aromatic buns for the holidays because I'm going to be going in the snow and I want it to kind of smell like candy canes and yule logs and whatever the hell else. And then, uh, to get um, oh, and then I just got a bunch of their house blends or Newman, Newminster pipes uh, or, or tobacco got a bunch of that and then I also got something that she doesn't know about I ordered later on some Brigadier by DL GL, GLP uh, some more other golden slice which I already got some but couldn't bang on her and actually get me anything because she like I said she doesn't care for this and some Mississippi River, which from what I understand, Jason Dagner said that it's more like grass clippings now. Thanks a lot. Could have known that before I heard that shit, but. Anyways, uh, I don't know if anybody watched Tobacco Advent. It's really cool. It's got from Rich to Calm and his boy Seth. Um, really did a good job on being able to review a lot of tobaccos that I, I actually some of them i had some of them i didn't like the sleepy hollow hint hint anybody wants to sell a sell a brother about a half ounce or something like that so i could test it out or uh and then he also had one called Winceslaw. he had that on christmas day and that was awesome i i want to try that one of these days when i'll be getting around to calling strauss and kind of figure out what i can do financially or whatever In any case, uh, I'll do that as much as I can. But I tend to like the cooler smoke as well. So hopefully, uh, I'll be able to get my hands on some of that stuff next year when they do the uh, limited order or release of a lot of that I, I tend to like a lot of things that are going to be limited edition I'm, i am one of those I kind of will go out of my way to get it i just didn't know i didn't have the money at that time but anyways yeah like you really want to hear that shit again um but anyways merry christmas to you all happy new year hopefully everybody's year is full of smokes pipes and a whole lot of fun um from fresno Joe Medium, Joe, or whatever you want to call me, uh, go ahead and uh, respond back. I will respond usually at the end of the day when I have some time off from work, which I'm at work all the time, so don't expect a ton of videos, but I will have some. Anyways, folks, have a good day, smoke on, and enjoy this beautiful weather that's been given us. Have a good day. Bye.